So sometime probability of an event will change when you're given an additional information. Let's look at this example. There's an urn with five balls, three red ball numbered one, two, and three, and then two blue balls numbered four and five. Without any additional information, we know that the probability of drawing a red is three fifth, three red out of five balls, and probability of blue is two fifth. Now, suppose a ball is drawn, and I tell you it's an odd number ball. Now, what is the probability of red? Well, since I already told you it's odd, now you should only consider one, three, and five being in the possibility of balls that can be drawn. So one and three are red and five is blue. So now there are two red out of three and the probability of drawing a red is two third. This is the concept of conditional probability. So the probability of a drawn, drawn ball being red given the ball is odd is two third. And here is the notation. This vertical line is given, so this is probability of red given odd. Here's the formula you need to know. The probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A intersect B over the probability of B. So the easy way to remember it is the probability, the top is the probability of the intersection and the bottom is the probability of the thing on the right. So let's do an example and see how this works. Let A and B be event in the sample space S. And suppose this is known that probability of A is 0.6, probability of B is 0.2, and A intersect B is 0.1. Well, so the probability of A given B will simply be A intersect B over B, which is 0.1 over 0.2, or 1 half. Two events are considered independent if knowing one doesn't affect the probability of the other. Let's look at this example. Now there's an urn with four balls, two red number one and two, and two green numbered three and four. Without additional information, here is the probability of red and green, it's about one half. So now suppose I draw a ball and tell you, tell you it's odd. Now what is the probability of red? Well, so since we know it's odd, now we'll consider only 1 and 3. Number 1 is red, number 3 is green, so the probability of red is 1 half. Well, remember, 1 half is the same probability as before I told you it was an odd number ball. So we, now we say that the events of drawing a red ball and drawing an even numbered ball are independent. So events A and B are independent if knowing B doesn't change the probability of A. And in other words, the traditional probability of A given B is still A. So now you can derive a useful formula because A given B is A intersect B over B. And if A and B are independent, A given B is just A, simply A because knowing B doesn't change the probability. So I'm going to multiply this probability B over on both sides here. So now we have A intersect B is probability of A times the probability of B. So it's important to not confuse independent with disjoint. So here when you have independent, A intersect B is A times B. If A and B are disjoint, A intersect B is zero. So notice the difference.